Oh uh, yeah, when I was 14, I started to listen to only Japanese music. Really boffy. I used to wear like tons of like eyeliner. Hey guys on Ask Japanese, it's Kathy Cat. Today we're actually going to go and ask foreigners in Japan about Chunibyo, which is time in your life when you just hit the teenage years, maybe puberty, and you do a couple of things that are a little bit embarrassing and you still have that kind of like childish notion, but also you want to do something else and be different. It can be like maybe changing your hair or believing in magic, similar things like that. So we're going to go and ask foreigners if they actually had Chunibyo. So let's go and ask foreigners in Japan. Junibyo is the time in your teenage years when you just like flicked her over, you know, you just came into your teenage years. You do a couple of things that later on you might think are kind of embarrassing. So for example, you, you're, you're a vampire or you wish to wear a witch or similar things like that. Do you have something, something Junibyo during your teenage years when you did something completely different and you want to be different from everyone else, anything like that? Well, when I was a teenager, I went through a really bad emo scene phase, so my fringe was swooshed over, really boffy. I used to wear like tons of like eyeliner, so that was my te like younger teenage years, and then I kind of grew out of it when I got to about 17. But like I think 17 was my last big like big emo phase, and then I was like, oh, I grew up. <laughs> Fantastic! Can I have a yes then? Did you do any cra anything crazy or quirky in your teenage years? Yeah, like probably. <laughs> <laughs> Different kind. Woo, so many yeses, fantastic. Okay, so uh, when I was in middle school, I was a huge fan of uh, Shaman King. <laughs> yeah, and I wrote a lot of fan fictions about the characters. And even like my best friend and I, we um, had a self-insert story. I think this is very Chunibyo. <laughs> Yeah, and so you put yourself into the story. Yeah, yeah. We imagined that we were also characters uh, in the Shaman King universe, and had our like own spirits, and were fighting w along with the characters and stuff. Yeah, we felt that we were really cool back then. Yeah, no, like right now when I look at the older fan fiction, it's really embarrassing. But <laughs> back then, it was our life. <laughs> yes. Fantastic! I'm so glad you had a shoot near your face. <laughs> I love Visual K, so I tried to dress like that. It didn't really work out. It looked kind of embarrassing when I look back now, but it was okay. But the J-Rock it stuck with me, like, One OK Rock is like my favorite band, so... Right, so you started Visual K and you're not doing it anymore though? No. <laughs> but it was a good time? It was, definitely. Okay, what is the embarrassing thing when you look back? Uh, I didn't have the money to buy the real good clothes for that, so I was just like stuck between something weird and gothic and I don't know, it was just... You kind tried of your best with what you could I get tried. in Germany at the time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I... I guess my face was just like like the weird pony side, a little bit emo, like wearing a lot of blush. So all of my pictures, I'm just like pink, have this, have a lot of mascara, and the rest is just like really plain from the lower top because I didn't know how to dress, I guess. And yeah, I don't know. I wasn't that crazy to be honest. <laughs> Did you feel cool at the time? Yeah, of course. <laughs> what do you define as a normal teenager? Wow. Just be yourself. Yeah. That's normal for me. Just be yourself and enjoy life. That's what you need to do. I think so. You see, you're saying people in Holland are more accepting of being different during your teenage years. I no, think they're not more accepted. Oh no. Okay. For me, I think they know. Uh, no, because when you uh, want to dress like pink hair or stuff, they like they, they judge you. That's for, that's what I think. But mm -hmm. yeah. maybe for you, it's different. No, I think in um, in Japan, it's maybe more acceptable to be different, to be uh, outgoing, to dress like a vampire or something. In Holland, just what uh, just like what you said, it's not so acceptable. Uh, it's acceptable, but but people are scared too. And here they just do it. And in Holland, they people they mainstream. It. Everybody's the same. Everybody wants to be the same. So nobody wants to jump off and be crazy or stuff. And here you can be yourself. And in Holland, yeah. you can be yourself as well. But everybody looks at each other like, oh, you look like this. I want to look the same. So we're all similar yeah. a little bit. Tell me more about your Chunibyo story, what were you yeah. doing? Uh, yeah, when I was 14, I started to listen to only Japanese music. You know, by getting piercings and my dyed my hair, it became long and my clothes is like changed a little bit, like the Harajuku style. But yeah, I guess that's all. <laughs> Good, your Chunibyo time, how about you? Uh, I'm Razam Gyaru. Oh my god, this is so exciting, tell me more! <laughs> uh, I'm in my make, 
color lenses and and eyelashes, yeah, and nails, and uh, I wear like Daya. Oh, it's Coco Lulu, but yeah, so <laughs> Daya bags, yeah. Oh, you became a getter, that's so cool. So you still like your getter time, so you changed it a little bit? Uh, yeah, but now my working is not good getter, so I finished, but in weekend. <laughs> You don't gather 100% yes, anymore? She can't, can't dress as Gerwin at her work. That's why oh, she changed. Are they very bit. strict? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Hungarian restaurant. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. But on the weekend, weekend! <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was uh, listening to rock music or metal, symphonic music, so kind of different music that everyone else. So this kind of thing, mm -hmm. I think. Did you also dress up accordingly? Uh, no. <laughs> so it wasn't really... I was half. <laughs> not really completely into it. Yeah, but rock music! Yeah. So you're rocking out at home? Yeah, I still like this kind of music. So I was listening a lot to it and singing, learning learning songs, wanting to see the, the bands in concert. So, yeah. I don't know, she has lots of different periods where I try to wear things have lots of dress uh, like high with tie and I don't know how to say uh, suits? yeah with suits with tie it was like and then it was like more military suit dress so I was like have a lot of different uh, dressing. yeah dressing yeah so you experimented a little bit it's one time suit one military suit yeah. different styles and I don't know it was like changing and I don't know when I was like Thinking, thinking that we're just like uh, borrowing this thing, let's try on something else. Yeah. yeah. So you tried like different fashion styles out for yourself? Yeah, that's it. Well, when I was a teenager, I went for a really bad emo scene phase, so my fringe was swooshed over, really boffy. I used to wear like tons of like eyeliner. So that was my te like younger teenage years, and then I kind of grew out of it when I got to about 17, but like I think 17 was my last big like big emo phase and then I was like oh I grew up. <laughs> How about you? Do you ever have something like that crazy teenage phase? Any superpowers? Um, not really superpowers, I was more into rap, NWA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, skateboarding, bike, BMX, yeah. All that, loved it. Still do biking now, so yeah. <laughs> Anything you did in your teenage years that you now think, oh god, that was so embarrassing? Have a daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you so much! Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And we're back. So what kind of teenage phases have people? So for example, some people write fan fictions where they write themselves in the fan fictions. I thought that was great. I did write a couple of fan fictions myself, to be honest. Uh, then we also have like, you know, changing your hair, maybe trying visual K or gothic or vampire. There are quite a lot of things that you can try out during your teenage years. However, good point raised there. Japanese people might not have the freedom to do that. Many schools forbid people from dyeing their hair, from even getting piercings, similar things like that, and expressing themselves in certain ways that we might be able to do that in our countries. So that's just a little point point to note there about Chunibyo. Maybe that's why we had a difference. We also asked Japanese people about Chunibyo. Find the video in our links and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you soon for another video on Ask Japanese. Bye!